Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just off the strip, 7770 Dean Martin Drive, and we've got muscle cars, we've got exotic cars, we've got classic cars, we, 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 we got them all. We even have a pickup truck in the back, we've got a limousine right there, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, you clicked on the 1963 Nova. It's got SS badges all over it. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's an SS or not. Go to CelebrityCars.com to read all about it and find out a little bit more about if this is an SS Nova or not. I know the VIN number might tell you, I didn't get a chance to study this car, but uh, we just got out of it. We just drove it around the block. And I gotta tell you, it runs pretty darn good. It's full of torque. It's got lots of power. I'm actually pretty surprised. The brakes, everything, it's no, no power steering, but I mean, like kind of who cares because it still really turns and does everything really nice too. Now look, this is an older restoration. It's got some fancy wheels on it. Uh, <clears throat> I, I know you're looking at it from a distance right now and you're going, holy crap, look at that. Now hold on. It's loaded with patina. What's that mean? Well, you should know. So there's touch-up paint. There's little scratches. There's plenty of patina in the chrome. Uh, there's chunks taken out of the metal where touch-up paint has been put on. Uh, um, uh, the wheels are fabulous. The, for overall, it's a really nice car. It needs quite a bit of attention. Um, convertible, you're, you're living large. Here's the main point, folks. It runs really good. It's got lots of power, and it's going to take you uh, the, uh, the guy that's interested in this, in this Nova here to, to clean it up, okay? Uh, with a great detail, a pretty expensive detail with a buffer, you can get a lot of these little, uh, you know, environmental kind of uh, marks out of it, like, you know, water marks here and there. Uh, I, I think it would shine up really nice. Um, the patina on the chrome is what it is. Some of it's worse than others. Some of it's okay. Um, there's uh, a little bit of good. And I'm not gonna go crazy with this automobile. I, I'll be here all day, okay? You can get on a plane, come see it, or, or just pick up the phone and call us and get your checkbook out and uh, get it home. You've got a great running vehicle, just needs a lot of attention. Come on up front here. I'm just gonna let the camera do the work on this front nose with me just pointing a few things out. Quincy, you don't need to hone in on what I point out because I'm pretty sure you know, that everybody can see. You know, there's chip, chip, no touch up paint. You can see scratches in the chrome um, all the way across the front of it. It's not terrible. I'm not going to rate it um, because the rating might not be very good, uh, but it's all here. It's, it's all straight and it just needs a lot of attention. This grill, I believe that's an aftermarket grill up front here. It's pretty cool looking. It's all in one piece. None of it's broken. The patina on this piece of molding right up here is, uh, is uh, not disastrous, but it's all there, but it's loaded with patina. The headlight covers, uh, uh, the, the moldings around the headlights loaded with patina. Um, some of it can be shined up a little bit. Most of it can't, I'm just telling you. Um, the hood up here, I've got kind of sort of mark after mark after uh, blip in the paint from when it was repainted to overall patina to somebody maybe putting a blanket on top of it and then taking it off and scratching some of the clear coat. Um, I know Quincy's showing you a lot of it right now. This chrome molding up the front, it's uh, probably one of the best pieces of chrome uh, I've seen so far. If you look way up here on the hood, you can see a big chunk that was taken out and a big chunk that was taken out with touch up paint on it. But other than that, that whole piece looks pretty darn good. I'm looking at the molding around the front windshield and uh, patina on the chrome, but it's all there and it all seems to be straight. I don't see a whole lot of dents and all that kind of stuff. That's what a good thing about this car is that it's all here. It's all pretty much straight. You notice this hood doesn't line up for Boo. Um, you know, it's raised here, it's all raised over here. <clears throat> uh, you know, I don't know how you would adjust those kinds of things, but you see that. And there's rock chip here with touch up paint on it. There's chip here with no touch up paint on it. You see where I'm going with this car, folks. Uh, it's, it's lovely, but it just, it's, a, it's definitely a driver. It's definitely something that you could take out anywhere you want. Um, and uh, you know, you're not gonna lose any sleep over it. 
uh, you, what you might lose sleep on is that if these wheels get dirty. <laughs> They're beautiful. <clears throat> American racing wheels. <clears throat> I don't see any curb rash on this one. Uh, I, I see the normal regular drum brakes in here and uh, you know, a little scratch right there. The chrome molding, this chrome molding down all the way down across the bottom here. It's all there. It's all straight, uh, loaded with patina. Some little scratches getting in and out of the car. I see paint drips along here from when it was painted. A couple more rock chips taken care of down there with touch up paint. Uh, the glass here. Let's see if we can, oh, wrong one. Oh, okay, never mind. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There's no crank, you just do one of these things. Okay, this works. Seals seem to be okay. I'll lock that back up. And yeah, I was starting to roll up this window here. Okay, windows all in one piece, pretty good shape. Patinaed chrome, patinaed chrome, top door cell, patinaed door handle. Got some ostrich in here. That's what that is, this is ostrich stuff. It's not alligator, it's ostrich. So, got a nice little brown leather going on here, a little darker brown ostrich going on in the middle. Very cool. Uh, you know, Patinaville, down along the bottom. Got some rubber coming across, uh, coming apart down towards the bottom. Um, inside the door jam here, you can kind of sort of see how they've, you know, what they've done. They did the best they could. Once again, this is an older restoration. This plate down here has a couple things in it, loads of patina. But the seat looks good, huh? Seat looks great, it's got plenty of moisture in it. This is pretty cool. Looks good over here, got fancy seat belts. We'll get back into the interior in just a couple minutes, but I just wanted to get things started here while we we're going by. I have not put the convertible top down yet. Let's do this real quick. Door sags a little bit when I open and close it, but it opens and closes just fine. This is important and that works really well. Okay, let's continue down the passenger side of the car here. Scratch, chunk, touch up paint, scratch here. You get where I'm going, folks. Scratch here, scratch here, scratch here, scratch there. These are scratches, folks. They're not anything that a detailer is gonna get out. These are, these are living, breathing scratches. You notice the plastic in the back, plenty of patina in that. I might be able to clean up just a, a fraction more, but I don't believe so. You see the patina around the uh, chrome molding that goes all the way around. This is where you know you, you, you snap down the cover uh, for the convertible top. Plenty of patina on that chrome. You look at the whole trunk surface here. <clears throat> Patinaville. Plenty of scratches in the clear coat. A couple little chips. But what's cool is that you know you get to hire a fancy detailer and as long as you know it's, it's a good 10 footer. Call it that. You shine the crap out of this thing with a good detailer. This is, this is going to gleam. Are you going to make all this stuff kind of sort of go away? No, nah, not really. Rear bumper. Plenty of scratches on top of the rear bumper, but it's all straight. I don't see any dents in it. I don't see this being backed into anything. It's all here. You're going to have to go visit your favorite chrome department, folks. The taillights look good. The chrome around the taillights look pretty darn good. Taillights are all in one piece. None of them are broken. This uh, center molding here, little patina in this as well. Okay, but all back here in this back bumper, you know, it really looks good. It's just, you know, Patinaville. Chunk, touch up paint. Working our way around to the driver's side now. Got the nice Nova SS emblem. That's for you guys to figure out or go to celebritycars.com. Maybe we can answer it. You probably just look up a VIN number to find out if this is an SS or not. I'm pretty sure how, that's thing, how the thing goes. Scratch, 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 chunk, chip. Lots of clear coat scratches. But once again, you know, from a couple feet away, there's no rubbing back here, although this looks awfully close, but it seems to be okay. I don't see any rubbing going on, uh, but it's, it's very close, folks. It's very, very, very close. Oh, yep, the paint just, you know, kind of falls off. Here's another part right here. Uh, Patinaville, folks, is what I told you. Uh, it's, it's kind of uh, coming apart as I, as I go over it here. Uh, <clears throat> but again, I hope you know what you're looking at. Got chip, 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 chip. I'll open up this door. Lo loaded, loaded, loaded with chips. <clears throat> Got your ostrich in here on this side. Actually, the interior looks pretty darn good. 
Interior looks pretty darn good. The carpet's and you know, it's got a little patina in it, but it's still pretty clean. And the seats, they really still look terrific. Steering wheel looks kind of cool. Yes, folks, that's an original dashboard with upgraded gauges in it. Um, they added a little bit of this on top of the dashboard, um, you know, probably to clean that up. Uh, extra switches telling you where things are because the owner of this car was pretty particular about that and added some little extra switches in it. The center console with the chrome, that's got plenty of patina in it as well. But once again, it's all there. So pretty cool. The door jam looks pretty darn good. All that. And this door. Yeah, this door sags a little bit as well. <clears throat> door handle. Plenty of patina around the door handle. Once again, this chrome. You see this here, got a little, this is a little heavier in the patina because it's got a little of those little dots, little rough edges coming up. Um, uh, if you, Quincy, come over here to my left, please, and look back down that way with the light. You could see, you know, kind of ding after ding. Uh, sorry, I'll say it one more time, after ding. <laughs> There's lots of dings on this. But again, you know, you're 10 feet back, you're looking at it, and this is a nice car. Needs a lot of attention. Down here, this piece of molding, all here, all in one piece, super straight. Just needs to be redone. Front fender. Front fender looks pretty good. I can see little marks here and there, very mild. And your front wheel and tire, no curb rash, you're in good shape. All right, let's see if we can get this hood up so you can see what we're about to drive around and listen to. This thing's got lots of juice. It's got lots of, lots of power. Oh yeah, it should. Look at this. There you go. We're not screwing around here in the engine compartment. Folks, I don't even know if I've ever looked in here. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, uh, either uh, Nova SS or just a Nova, uh, that didn't come in it. So check it out. Look how pretty that is. Well done. <clears throat> Everything's pretty clean in here, folks. Got some strut towers. The master cylinder looks good. Lots of summit racing. Looks like people were pretty particular with the cables in here and did a nice job and it's very clean. MSD ignition system. Pretty darn cool. The horn works, I hit it earlier. <coughs> Hinges seem to be okay, hood stays up good. Let's see if I have some keys here to get in the trunk. And Quincy, I don't know what I did with the keys. So I'm gonna need to go get the keys. Folks, pause a second, I'll be right back. All right, it does come with two sets of keys, sorry about that. Okay, wrong key. There we go. Oh, the hinges back here, that opened up really nice. I never looked back here either, folks. Here's the nitty gritty back here. Got your battery in the trunk. All looks pretty solid to me. Just a little bit of crud. I see a motor for the power top. Look underneath here, this is beautiful. Nice. All right. Okay, that's closed up. Let's see if we can make this top go down. I don't know how to do it, but let's see if I can figure it out. Air, rear shocks. Well, I don't know what that means. That's interesting. All right. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, there you go, you get to hear it. Lights, wipers. Hey, the wipers work. Kind of. Okay, let's not do that again. All right. You know what, folks? So I'm not just sitting here screwing around looking like an idiot trying to find buttons and stuff like that. How about uh, if you're really interested in seeing this top go down, give us a call. We'll send you a personal video and we'll discuss it with you. 
how it goes up and down. Um, I'm not sure which button to hit, but I'm sure we're going to find out. <laughs> uh, Quincy, come on over here. We didn't. We, let's wrap up this interior and then we'll go for a drive. Check out the back seats. Got a 1963 Nova license plate frame back there. Red seat belts. Back seats look great. Once again, the driver's seat looks great. Carpet looks good. Dash looks good. Really cool aftermarket radio system. This is uh, tasteful. It's okay. And we got ostrich visors. And once again, it says Nova SS over there as well. Anyway, there you go. VIN number's right in the corner. Uh, in here, we got a couple little dings on this sill right here. This is all metal up top. Um, hey, there you go. Not every, uh, not, not every old muscle car is perfect. This one is not, but it runs and drives good. And we're about to show you that coming up in just a moment. But hey, uh, if you always wanted one of these, you wanted a red one and you wanted a convertible, it's not a bad place to start. We'll be right back. Even makes the even makes the camera shake, ladies and gentlemen. We're back inside the 1963 Red Nova. It's super cool. Runs a little rough, uh, but it still runs and it runs good. I don't hear any weird noises or anything like that. There's probably just some adjustments. Got lots of gauges. I got volts. I got oil pressure. I got water temp. Got a fancy upgraded radio. The dash appears to be uh, all stock and original appearing, and the dash pad looks to be a little extra but it looks good. Uh, a lot of this uh, uh, alligator skin going on. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice interior. Lots of patina in the center console on the, uh, on the chrome and uh, lots of patina pretty much everywhere, but it's still a really nice ride. We're gonna go down the end of block, hit the brakes, hit the gas pedal, go through the gears and make sure this thing uh, you know, does what it's supposed to do. Clutch is in. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna hit the brakes here at about 38 miles an hour. Three, two, and one. Wow. Now, that was a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be. I'm pretty sure there's drum brakes all the way around, but super silky smooth hitting the gas pedal. No wobble in the, uh, hitting the brake pedal. No, no wobble in the brake pedal. Everything is super, super comfy. This is a nice car. It's a nice car. It's running pretty good too. Just needed to warm up. We're in good shape. My foot's back in the clutch. No power steering, but still very manageable. You're watching me. I'm not fighting anything. Gonna hang out in first gear a little bit. Suspension feels pretty darn good. Do the brakes one more time. Three, two, and one. Wow, this is a uh, this is a surprise, folks. I'm genuinely surprised in this automobile. <clears throat> there's a switch for radiator fans. There's uh, there's water pump switches. More radiator fans. A kill switch. All kinds of things that are nicely labeled labeled in here for you folks to see. Now. Well, I'm sure we didn't get into it earlier. I'm not sure if this is a real uh, SS or not, but it's certainly labeled and badged. Convertible top. I'm looking in the back seat one more time. It's a fair machine. Just a little bit of a wear, a little bit of patina. I think this car was built a long time ago and enjoyed. And it's ready for you. Give us a call. We can talk about it. 702-818-1031. See you next time.